Hello, welcome to the lecture on Coba Cabana, Control of Balance by Card-Based Navigation. The two learning outcomes of this lecture are to understand the logic of Coba Cabana and how it is used to achieve workload control in high-mix variable routine manufacturing environments. Coba Cabana was developed in 2009 by land with the aim of achieving workload control using card-based concepts. It provides a unique solution in high-mix variable routine manufacturing environments such as job shops, and it involves a centralized monitoring of workload and release of orders to the shop floor. So in Coba Cabana, cards are displayed on a planning board to monitor the workload at the workstations. Each card represents a fixed amount of workload and in the example I'm going to be showing in this lecture, a card represents five minutes of processing time. So at any point in time, the number of cards available on the board for a workstation indicates the amount of workload that can be released to that workstation. Then there is a backlog list of orders waiting to be released into the system. To release an order into the system from this list, it must fulfill three conditions. First, it must have reached its planned due date. It must obtain cards for the stations in its processing routes, and the number of cards it obtains for each station must reflect its workload implication on that workstation. In the scenario I have here, there are four orders, three of them are due for release, orders one, two, and three. Order one has the earliest release date, so it's going to be considered first. It requires one card for drilling, two for turning, and three for shipping, based on the five, 10, and 15 minutes that are required at those workstations. So if we check the planning board for the availability of those cards, they are all available, so they are going to be detached from the board and attached to order one for its release into the system. Next is order two, but it cannot be released because the card it requires for shipping is not available on the planning board. And that is an indication that shipping has already reached the maximum workload limit. So order two must wait in the backlog list until a card becomes available again for shipping. In the meantime, we can consider order three. And if we look at the planning board, the cards it requires are available. So those cards are going to be removed from the board and attached to order three for its release into the system. So that is how Coba Cabana monitors the workload on the shop floor through a centralized planning board. Then, as orders complete processing at the workstations in their routine, the cards that were originally attached to them are detached and sent back to the planning board so that they can be used to release new orders into the system. So as order one completes drilling, one card is detached from it and sent to the planning board. Then as it completes turning, the two cards attached to it for turning are detached and sent back to the planning board. So that is how Coba Cabana works. It uh, has a backlog list to sequence the orders according to their due dates. It has a planning board to monitor the current workload at the workstations. Then it only releases orders if the workload hasn't reached the limit it sets for each of the workstations. Then the cards are sent back to the planning board as the orders are completed at the workstations. In essence, the constant number of cards between, that move between the planning board and the workstations ensure that workload and triple times are kept within planned levels. It allows for good timing of order releases and 
ensures that the throughput time through the uh, system is predictable. Then the backlog list and the procedure for selecting orders makes it possible to consider the urgency of orders at the time of releasing them. Coba Cabana is argued to be the first choice for complex high mix variable routing order control problems, mainly because of its loop structure, which allows for all possible routing permutations. It's a centralized planning board, which gives an overview of the current workload situation and supports load balancing and also because it provides a means for estimating valid delivery times. However, some of the cons of Coba Cabana are that it's more complex than Kanban or Conwhip systems and it doesn't directly address inventory control problems. Here are some references for more information on Coba Cabana.